Oh, me hearties, a very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClue, and here we are live saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Welcome, 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 I say, to our morning pop-up live streaming on Facebook Live. That is the big one, and uh, lovely to have you all with us, of course. It's, uh, what day are we at? Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. There you go. Kevin Stewart has just joined us. Excellent. Rod Hardest is watching. Good for you, Rod. Nice to see you up and about. Excellent stuff. How are things down in the northeast there? Wonderful, wonderful. Kevin Stewart says, good morning. Good morning, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to our pop-up. Morning, Mush. Morning, Rod. Excellent stuff. Good, good, good. Mike McCabe. Good. Come and join us, Mike. Wonderful stuff. And, of course, good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Janice Muldoon. Excellent. Gordon Sterling is watching. Excellent. There he is. Yes, good to have you with us, Gordon. Just going to do a bit of early sharing from the off this morning, guys, because I didn't do a lot of sharing yesterday. And if we don't do a lot of sharing, then we just get a few hundred people. If we all do a lot of sharing, we get a few thousand people. And that makes for a much better live stream. So there you are. Morning, Mr. Dinky Doo, says Mike McCabe. Yes, absolutely, Mike. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, put your televisions and your radios off because you're not going to get anything any better than Scotty McClue with the Scotty McClue Show Live at 10 o'clock in the morning weekdays. Andy McMillan's watching Dinky Doo, Willie Drysdale. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, come and join us. Now, I'll just share right now. There it is. Get everybody involved. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Jeff Bernstein's joined us. Andy Seeger, bonjour, Scotty. There's no E on bonjour, remember, just Bonjour, monsieur. Alan A. Clark, Peter Connolly. Je ne crête, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends, oui. And, eh, uh, mich Deutsche sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, ich verstehe. So, there we go. Thank you, Scotty, says Andy McMillan. Wonderful. I love your, your Beetle, Andy. And we remember Beetle Drives. Morning, Scotty, from downtown Airdrie. Ooh, that's a, a very swish part of the world. But of course, Airdrie, like all other places, will be in lockdown at the moment. The Airdrie, um, the Airdrie Cross. Karim Sakaraya, excellent. A very good morning to you, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Now, who are we sharing with this morning? We are sharing to the big Scotty McClure page because that is what we do. And we like that. Good morning, Scotty. Are you well? Absolutely, Kareem. And better for seeing you. I'm just saying we need to get our sharing up today, though, because we didn't share enough yesterday. And it leaves us with just a few hundred viewers rather than, like the other day, a good few thousand. So I think we need to be sharing and sharing and sharing. I'm just going to tell them I'm live now. There we are. That will do it. Live now. Good. Live now. Mm-hmm. And uh, they can come and join us. Now, that's gone on to the big Scotty McClue page. Nice and early. Arthur Keith. Good morning, Scotty. Willie Drysdale. Good morning, Scotty. Help you to keep us all sane in these difficult times. Well, of course, it depends, Willie, on where we're all starting from, doesn't it? Sanity, I have no doubt, is relative, like anything else. Can I move you up to there? There we go. Is that all right? Is that a reasonable picture you're getting there? Wonderful stuff. Uh, Mike McCabe, Miss Ali B is looking for tips, so she isn't as bored as yesterday. Now, I have never been bored in my life. This is when the books come out. There's the lovely uh, Susan Forrest. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do and a kiss. Mwah. Good morning, Susan. Provost William Henry is watching. Good morning, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Your Grace. Uh, Scotty McClure, last night I gave myself a self haircut. I think I did a good job, says Kareem. We will be the judge of that, Kareem. So there you are. Do post a pic. <laughs> Fantastic. Of the, uh, of the selfie. The self haircut. Wonderful. Fortunately, I got mine, um, I go along to a German barber. Um, his name is Herr Kott. And, um, 
he always looks after me and it's fantastic. And also go along to the wonderful Lynn Donnelly as well. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Tom Fanley, dink you do. Big thumbs up to you. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll just share to the group as well, guys, and get us all started nice and early today. You've got to be in it to win it with this program. It's not one you look at. I mean, we had a couple of uh, very good watch parties yesterday, but you have to actually be there thinking, no, I was there in the moment. Scotty, Gordon Sterling, one of Gordon's diatribes here. This will be interesting. Uh, Scotty, apart from listening to Professor Jason Leach, are you the nation's most inspirational leader? My hedge fund manager is now tuning in daily. The world will tune in to Scotty McClure, Gordon Sterling. Because in times of trouble like this, the world turns to Scotty McClure. Why is that? Because I am a reflection of you. So it's like looking in the mirror and we can chit chat, we can sort things out together. And as time goes on, we'll have deep debates. Like the other day I was saying with Prince Charles testing positive for uh, coronavirus, for COVID-19, um, should we not have the Royal National Health Service up the status? You know, stuff like that needs to be discussed. And then you get all these half-witted idiots that go on, oh, no, the Queen, oh, no, I don't like the and they've had their heads stuffed with nonsense when they were weans, you know. Janice Waldoon's giving me the thumbs up. Is there a way to send a picture here, says Karim. Oh, gosh, Karim. Maybe we could, uh, we could Skype in vision and I could show the nation. Just give them a quick, a quick, uh, a quick flash of your new haircut. Wonderful, that would be. Rod Halsday, I'm enjoying having less to do at present. Are you, Rod? Could you have done much less? <laughs> no. Now, joking apart, Rod, to put you in the picture, was my very first wizard of the big switchboard at Red Rose Gold Radio in 1992. He's an absolute top man. And uh, then he uh, he joined uh, Century Radio in the Northeast, and um, he walked up there with the great John Miles, and uh, Rod and I kept in touch. I used to go up to Century Northeast, and then Rod does his own program, Classics We Love. He's a big classical music fan, bit of an authority on the old classics, so Rod does that, so look out for Classics We Love. So there you go, Rod. Um, not that that was a plug or anything for a chum. Morning, Kareem. I always like a bit of Kareem in my morning coffee, says Kevin Stewart. Oh, Kevin, is there no end to your humour? Kareem, are you all right with that? Or is that just a piece of nonsense? William Haining Jimison is watching now. That is a big name. Lovely to have you with us, William Haining Jimison. Dan Leslie, we don't need to see Kareem's ugly mug. Dan, we do. And uh, a very, very handsome man, I hear. Um, you know, really quite a, 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 I would, I would say quite a looker. You know, that's what, what they say. And, um, I'm sure his haircut will be outstanding. So there we go. Scotty, looking at my finances yesterday, Peter Conley, what have I told you about doing that? Uh, the government are really doing nothing. I went self-employed six months ago, so I won't get any help. Well, you might do. Uh, I just checked the situation on my mortgage. You can get a three-month um, holiday, but it goes back on the other side. What's the point in that? I'm trying to pay it off not to add to it. What I would love is for the government just to zero everybody's debt. Zero it. Zero lot. Just put up how many trillion we owe and say, uh, you know, to your PA, uh, you know, James or Janice, could you just backspace that? Yes, a wee bit more. Uh-huh. There we go. That's better. Good. Right. We don't owe anything now. That's it. Gone. Because who do we owe it to? Do you know what I mean? Uh, what adventures do you get up to in your sprawling landscape that's your back garden? Well, Andy Sigar, it's a great haven for wildlife. You know, I heard a woodpecker yesterday. Now, if I come back, ideally, when I die, when I go over Jordan, when I pop my clogs, when I kick a le bouquet, all that sort of stuff, 
No bouquets for the flowers, isn't it? Um, so when all that happens, right, which obviously can happen any time, we never know the minute. And when that happens, you know, I would like to think I could come back as one of my Labradors because they have such a fabulous life. But I thought yesterday I would like to come back as a woodpecker. I was looking for him because he's red, he's gorgeous, and I think he's got a last of a Mohican's haircut, the woodpecker. And um, I was looking for him, I couldn't see him, but then I thought, if you'd had a dram or two the night before you became a woodpecker, so say I come back as a woodpecker and you'd had a few drams, could you imagine smacking your beak at speed brrr, off a tree trunk? You're oh, shit, I'm going to have to sit down for a minute. Sitting with the dark glasses on, brrr, oh, no, no, enough, all that. So I might not come back as a woodpecker. El Salvador Stellione, temps change from 17 uh, to 2 degrees. Wonder if we see another rise in the virus. Are you saying up or down? You saying it's got a lot hotter? If it's got a lot hotter, is that good or bad for the virus? I would think freezing cold would help the virus. No, but then again, we get the viri in the winter. William Haining Jimison. Hi, Scotty. Hello, William Haining Jimison. Lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Nicky Graham. Dinky doo, Scotty. Dinky doo. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Thank you, Nicky. You're very lyrical. You're waxing lyrical. Gavin A. McVicker is watching. What's the A, Gavin? Spill. Spill. Thanks, Scotty McClure, says Kareem. Not at all, Kareem. I've got to fight your corner because many a night. You fought mine. Wonderful stuff. Top man. There we are. Douglas Lawrence, the wonderful Douglas Lawrence, perhaps the finest exponent of the Scottish fiddle and the classical violin I have ever met or heard in my life. And Douglas Lawrence, I'd love if you Skyped me, Douglas Lawrence, and maybe even gave us a tune. Uh, so there we are. Douglas Lawrence, when, um, uh, you know, I heard him play last week, He'd uh, very kindly decided to do a bit of playing. Was a wonderful, wonderful player, of course. And it was outstanding. So I, I, I said to him down below on Facebook, I said, I could not take any more than another 100,000 hours of that for starters. So there you are. So Douglas, if you're feeling a wee bit of the Glen Calla Castle or Mrs. Helen L. MacDonald of Donagh, or um, Donald McLean's Farewell to Open, or um, James Scott Skinner's Compliments, um, Mrs. Major, uh, oh, what's that one of Java? Major Stewart of J Java. Uh, Scotty, hope you're social distancing from the studio. Makeup people, or are you putting your own face on? This is a mask. God, and I don't look anything like this. This is latex. Wonder, look at it. I mean, you're not telling me at my time of life I could look as superbly well as this. <laughs> uh, Scotty, is your Skype on? Kareem, since you've asked, good question. Let's just see if it's not on. We will get it on. Yes, it's on. If you want to call, you'd be very, very welcome. Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty from Melrose, says the wonderful Steve Clinkscale. Now, Steve Clinkscale, are you the accordion man? Do spill. Fantastic stuff. Top man, Melrose. How beautiful is Melrose? Dinky Doo. Guys, sharing, sharing, sharing. Come on. The numbers will drop if you don't share. We don't want that again. Yesterday, we only had a few hundred watching. Whereas uh, we had five and a half, six thousand of you the other day. I'm off to leaving Glen Orcutt, says Douglas Lawrence, leaving Glen Orcutt. What about Far Over Stray? Um, Far Over Stray. Now wait, that'll come back to me. I'll start that. That's a, a great favourite of mine. That's a two four pipe march, isn't it? Far Over Stray. Um, starts with a doodle doo 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 and then is on to, yes, it'll come back to me during the programme, all the different tunes. My trouble, Douglas, and it won't be yours, is that I go into the wrong song. I start with 
Donald McLean's farewell to Oban, and then I go into Father John McMillan of Barra. And is that an easy one to, to mix up? I don't know. Do you think uh, people's mental health will suffer from being stuck in doors for three weeks? Not necessarily, Dan, if you keep your mind busy, if you watch Scotty McClure, if you join in the debates and you share everything and get involved in Scotty McClure's Facebook page and in Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and all that sort of stuff. There's 700 pieces of YouTube on there for you. You know, you should be filling your boots. Did you swear, Scotty? Says El Salvador. El Salvador. I, 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 I was going to say I've never sworn in my life. I, I have sworn, um, but I don't approve of it on Facebook. Is that a bit weak? Uh, El Salvador. Uh, up to, mates, the temperatures dropped in the last three days from 17 to 2. Is the virus stronger in cold temperatures? Well, strangely, viri tend to hit hardest, do they not, in the winter. You see, so why is that? I was thinking yesterday about you talking about the ferries in Scotland. Have you heard the parody of the Pong of the Clyde by Stanley Baxter, a much underrated Scottish comedian? Stanley Baxter is perhaps one of the finest comedians. I think Stanley must be 90-odd now. And he was one of those that I don't think was treated particularly well by uh, the broadcast organisations. And um, I would like to see Stanley do a lot more. The only thing they said that it cost a lot to produce Stanley's stuff because he was such a superb performer. Remember, he used to appear as the Queen. Of course, the wonderful Kenneth McKellar, sadly no longer with us, who uh, I am a massive fan of, love his stuff, beautiful, beautiful tenor uh, singer and a great ambassador for Scotland. And Kenneth sang the Song of the Clyde. And Radio Clyde opened their, their station with it in, uh, was it Hogmanay, uh, 1973, I think. Am I correct? And um, because it was a dear old friend of mine, Bill Brown, Sir William Brown, who was uh, the chairman, and um, a wonderful Jimmy Gordon, and uh, who else did we have? Kenneth McKellar was on the board. Wonderful. Uh, A.R. McMillan, Alec McMillan, um, the chairman of the Clydesdale Bank. All these kind of wonderful things. Uh, or the chief general manager, you know. I mean, superb station, Radio Clyde. It really, really is, you know. I mean, it was beautifully set up and very, very well run. Um, I was thinking yesterday about that. So Stanley Baxter did a parody, and I remember him, The Pong of the Clyde. And in its day, the Clyde did pong because it had open sewage. I remember it. You had to just kind of avoid it if you were swimming off Gurukh or Greenock, and uh, you could pass the odd floater while you were uh, while you were swimming, you know. Uh, I didn't know you'd got woodpeckers in Scotland. I've never seen one. Uh, I need to give your premises a visit. No point, Andy Seeger, because I've never seen one either, but I have heard one, and I heard them yesterday. Brrr, fantastic. So there we are. Ricky Martin, dinky-doo. Uh, yes, sir, dinky-doo. Uh, so Steve Clinkscale is Mr. Accordion. I love it, Steve. I'll bet you could tell some wonderful stories. Uh, you know, you would have known Jimmy Shand and, oh, fantastic now. And you can advise on my old accordion. It's about um, 60 or 70 years old. It's Swedish. It's got something in the front of it, maestro, and it's got one sticky, sticky button which sometimes comes on and spoils me from playing it. I got it for 20 quid at an auction, and uh, but it was because of who it belonged to I wanted it. Um, the wonderful James Watts watching, thank you do, James. You're a fabulous inventor, and uh, the world has benefited so much from, uh, from you or your relatives' uh, input. There we are, Bolton and Watt. Uh, good morning, Scott. Give me a shout out. Says David Howie. Oh, very well then. Ricardo Tubbs. More sharing, guys. Come on. Everybody needs to share. This is a nonsense. 
I don't want to come off and find there's just been a few hundred of you watching. The other day we had nearly 6,000. Uh, so we want to get that up to 10,000. Everyone should actually be meeting. Everyone on the planet, everyone on Facebook should be meeting for this program in the morning. You know, because you used to join me in the radio, quarter of a million of you every half hour. Hi, Scotty McClure, saying you're not available like the other night. Right, well, we'll restart it. Uh, Kareem, that's what we'll do. We'll restart the thing. I don't mind. And we'll go back and we'll say, I'm available. I must be available. Is it, uh, is the Wi Fi kicked in? Let's just check. The Wi Fi is doing its stuff. That's what matters. Yes, there we go. We want to hear from Kareem. Right, it's waving to me, Kareem. Try that. What I could do, I suppose, is put it off and on again if it doesn't work. There we go. Excellent. Hey, so we've got the Skype here, guys, and we'll build a trusted list. We can have people on. Jacqueline Trotter, welcome. Michael Yule, welcome. Uh, I see Disney Boss is taking a pay cut. Uh, Zandy got his phone number. <laughs> Between me and my daughter, we don't owe a few pounds, right, Peter? Yes. Good, fair enough. Um, I can't actually put that up there, Peter, for other reasons I could tell you about. Morning, Scotty, says Ricky Martin. Do you think these people who think they can do what they like should have their vehicles confiscated if they drive a long way to the likes of a beauty spot from home? Um, so, see more now, Ricky. Very interesting because there's conflicting information about this. There was a judge saying that the police shouldn't be so heavy-handed. The police down south um, shouldn't be so heavy-handed with people going to exercise at the beauty spots. So, you know, there's still that's kind of in limbo because people flock together in winter. Kevin Stewart, how very interesting. You know, I think we should uh, migrate like the birds. I would have loved to have gone working in South Africa from, say, um, November um, to March or something like that, you know. It's because the virus can't multiply in colder temperatures. The fish tanks, for instance, when treating a parasite, um, I'm a hobbyist, whack, there are heaters to speed the life cycle and kill it. So if we had tremendous heat, would that kill the virus? But how come it's getting into Africa, which is very, very hot? So there are more sharing. Guys, you need to be shading all the time. This is misbehaving. I'll have to uh, have to settle it up again. Have to. Um, there we go. Excellent. Technology is wonderful when it's working, isn't it? Um, up when the temperature goes up, says El Salvador. Even if chest clinics and hospitals, their lobby in waiting area are very warm for a reason to many pathogens from lungs flying about. So the chest clinics are the intentionally hot El Salvador. Uh, Scott Cunningham, MBE, is watching. Welcome, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo. There should be um, two capitals at the B and the E. Reset that, Scott. Uh, Ricardo, good morning from Loch Winnach. Good morning, Ricardo. Lovely to have you with us in Loch Winnach. Kevin Stewart. Did you hear the joke about the woodpecker and the owl? Knock, knock. Who's there? I love it. What do you get if you cross a mute owl with a skunk? Come on, Kevin. Uh, Jack's there. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Dinky-doo, Jack. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. A very good morning to you. Phil Syme. Um, That's what I mean, Scotty. I'll phone later. Yes, yes. Right, I'm going to put the Skype off just now and put it back on. See if we can, uh, you can hear it powering down. There we are. Yes, mate, I'll phone up if, uh, for a short one when we get going. Yes, good idea. Good idea, El Salvador. Very, very good idea. Right, uh, more sharing, everybody. Come on. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. 
The time flies when you're enjoying yourself. But everybody should be getting this by now, guys. There shouldn't be anyone on Facebook who's not watching Scotty McClure. So we need to get sharing. Scotty, when your Skype's up and running, I sent your picture of my haircut. Wonderful. Right, we'll get that going. We'll get the Skype up and running, Kareem. We like that. <laughs> uh, sharing in public. Um, I'll share this in public. That's gone there. Getting a bit of hum. And I haven't got my shoes off. There we go. A woodpecker's a bot, unless you're a puppet. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. The woodpecker. We like that. Now, um, but he's red, isn't he? He's got red on him, and he's got a last of the Mohicans haircut. I know that. I uh, said to lady last week, I could teach her to speak North American Native Indian in three weeks. And she said to me, how? I said, see, you're picking it up already. Wonderful. Right. Shading, shading, shading. Hear the pennies dropping. Listen while they fall. Everyone for Jesus, he shall have them all. That was a wee song I was telling you about at the Sunday school. I'll share to some groups. See if we can get that going. That's Well, that's start. We don't want that. That's a watch party starting. We don't want that. No, stop. Stop. We're going to have to stop the watch party when that comes in. Uh, and get sharing, everybody. Right. So cancel. Cancel that. And uh, what I'll do is share. I click start. Nearly started a watch party when I'm actually on doing this live. Share to uh, a group. We're sharing to a group, aren't we? Let everybody know. Come and join us. Dinky do my good man. This is Brian Hall. Put the Skype on, Scotty. I'm doing that, El Salvador. So there we are. We've got the Skype on. Do not panic. Never, ever panic. Has it started up again? Yes, that's good. Right. Now I have to go back to the Skype and see if I can get into that. I'll just give that a minute to, to heat up. It's like a valve radio. We used to sing that in Sunday school. Did you, Kevin? Hear the pennies dropping. Listen while they fall. Everyone for Jesus. He shall have them all. Wonderful. That was a wee Sunday school song. And we put, and it was a penny. We put in an old penny, which is a new penny divided by 2.4. Am I correct, mathematicians? Very, very important. Right. Guys, can everybody share right now? I'm not joking. I want you to share to every group. Share what you're watching right now. Type, 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 de type. Are you watching Scotty McClure live? So there we are. I need to get that in there so that we can uh, get these numbers up. And it all depends on you. There's no point in me popping up if uh, we can't get everybody watching. So there we are. Share in a group. I'll share in a group. There we go. I'll share in the uh, Scotty McClure group. That's always good for a laugh. Scotty McClure fan group. Wonderful. Um, can we have 6,000? Can everybody follow me on the Facebook page and follow all the Scotty McClure pages? Follow me on uh, Twitter as well and on YouTube. Um, Scotty, Agnes's angle grinder has developed a fault just halfway through shaving a bunion. Any advice, please? I don't know much about it. I remember buying a bottle of wine. Now, I'm not saying it was cheap wine, but uh, I don't know who trampled the grapes because there was a corn plaster in it. Um, everything happens for a reason. I believe the coronavirus is going to bring a better world, says Jack. Good for you, Jack. Jack's a young gentleman. Uh, Jesus must have been rich then. Well, Jesus is rich. And uh, Scotty McClure is the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. But, um, you know, there's a difference between being rich and having a lot of money. Do you see what I mean? I know poor souls that have got stacks of money and they don't know what to do with it because they've not got any friends <laughs> because... People, the people that should befriend them don't want to in case they're seen as being a bit uh, suki. And the ones that shouldn't befriend them do befriend them because they want to try and get their money off them. 
I'm feeling down, Scott. You make me laugh. So have a look at this. You know? Um, so wonderful stuff. So that's the difference. So you can be very, very, very rich as I am and not have any money because are you ready for it? The only true wealth is life. Telling you. There you go, guys. So everybody's going, oh, so I'm rich now. They're all sorted out now. Good for you. The Scotty McClure fan group. There we are. They've got it right now. And they know that we are live now. That's a good 3,000 of you have got this, guys. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Molly Scotty, dinky do, mate. It says Hector Brown, dinky do, Hector. Lovely to have you with us. Or in Gaelic, you would be Echen. Echen Brown, there you are. Uh, one thing this virus has made me think is to live for the moment. I feel really rich too. Good, Kevin. Another O on two there from your favourite grammarian friend. Tell us your best joke. David McClellan, I told my best joke last week. I said my father was a man of very few words. And he used to say to me, son. Did you see what I just did there? Did you like that one? Oh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, now, we're sharing to more pages. Oh, yes, let's share to a page as well and tell everybody we are live now. So I'm just going to keep sharing. Can you all do the same? Henry Anderson's watching. Dinky do, Henry. Lovely to have you with us. I hope all is well with you. There we go. This is all in the sharing because there's no rhyme or reason to who's watching. You can just pop up random and 25,000 people join you. Or you can pop up and having told everybody exactly when you're on and just a few hundred join you. Uh, Jack says, I've followed you and sent you a friend request. Excellent, Jack. Dinky do. Well, there's a massive queue for the friend request. So, um, you know, good luck with that one. But thank you for following. That's it. If you can all follow the Scotty McClue page, guys, that would be absolutely outstanding. Hello, Scotty, says John Jackson. Excellent. Lovely to hear from you, John Jackson. No Skype on, mate. Not yet. Not yet, Mr. Stallione. Uh, because uh, we forgot about it, didn't we? That's right, that's right. We forgot about it. Forgot about the Skype. If you want to Skype in and you're trusted, I can only have trusted people because we've got a couple of wee dafties that uh, I couldn't trust their language um, because they hadn't quite grown up. They were puerile. Bit of Latin, puer, e boy. Yes. Oh, this is great. I'm just putting on the Skype. For our trusted people. Karim's going to Skype me, we hope. If it all works. Which it should do. Me being a bit of a genius. I hope that worked. Right. Mm hmm. Right, we're in business. The Skype is on, and we are in business. There we go. Excellent stuff. Thank you, dude. Sorry I'm late. Says Andy Groves. Not at all, Andy. During the coronavirus, there are no sanctions for joining Scotty McClure late. Uh, hello, Scotty. Kawraha u. You know, kawraha u hachimachi. Uh, Hector Brown, if you wake up breathing, you should be feeling rich. Absolutely, Hector. Uh, Bamba Myers, Karim Zachariah, wait until everybody else sees it. So there we are. Well, Bamba, you know, you're no stranger. To our number one here, but... Karim, good morning. Oh, Karim, can I show the nation? Here it comes again. Kareem, good morning. Hello, Scotty. How are we? We're absolutely all the better for hearing you. <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. Are you still, uh, enjoy, are you still enjoying the streams? 
Yes, no, it's keeping me going in the morning, getting up, watching you, and doing my watch. Uh, I tried, I've sent you a wee picture, so when I come off the, the phone, if you check your profile on, on well, your Skype. No, even um, better, when picture. you first Skyped me there, you had your video on. Oh, I, 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 I could, if you were there. agreeable, I could show the nation your number one haircut, your selfie. Right. I'll hang up and I'll phone back on the video then you can show everybody. <laughs> they will love that. Sorry. Yes, and you're a Two handsome seconds. chap. I told that guy <laughs> that. So there you are. So there we go. I'll phone back on the video, Scott. Right, Kareem's <laughs> going to do the video for us and we can check out his selfie haircut. But we don't want to put all the barbers out of business. Here it is. Oh, Kareem, that's fantastic. Dinky do. Am I in video as well? I think I've done quite a good job. Right, here we go. Let's show the nation. Folks, here's Kareem. There he goes. What do you think? I think he's done a good job. Put me back if that's okay. I can't hear anything really. Right, no bother. There's Kareem. So there we are with a top haircut. Excellent stuff. What about that? Yes, yes Kareem. That was, Hi there, how we doing? <laughs> they loved that. That was wonderful. Isn't technology amazing? Oh, I guess. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, keeps changing. <laughs> I mean, well, Kareem, what's interesting about this wonderful stream, it's very, very basic. And people mm -hmm. love it because it's different. So they've got mm -hmm. the television and the radio, they've got all the top, top, top professionals, editing, lighting, camera work, mm. everything mm. just so. We don't have any of that, which is pretty apparent. You know, I might as well fess up. <laughs> but but we're different and we're live and we're human beings and we're getting together. Mm. Yep. You know, and I think yep. that what we've just done there has made communication history. This is This is almost as good as when... Our old friend Giuliano Marconi dropped his handkerchief. You know, no, it was his pal dropped his handkerchief. Do you know the story of Marconi? No, no, no. Can you right. tell me, please? Well, no, just very briefly. Uh, you'll love this. When he actually got his first transmission through the airwaves, he said right. to his pal to go to a wee hillock just a wee bit away from mm -hmm. him and hold up his right. hanky. And if he could right. hear when uh, Marconi transmitted to drop the hanky, and the second the right. hanky yeah. dropped, history was made, and that was the start of the whole thing. Right. Can okay. you imagine right. if the Titanic had had um, global plotting, if she'd had uh -huh. mobile phones, if she's had ship to shore, if she'd had helicopters on board, you know, if she'd had modern life rafts with um, signals, you know, all that sort of stuff. They could have sent in seaplanes, all these wonderful things, and it would just have changed the world. And I love that idea. You know, one of the yes. things is that I'm pretty maxed a lot of the time, and I just wish yes. I had more time to do more things. <laughs> you know, I do. I do. You're very out and about. We'll be out and about. It's so lovely to hear you, and thank you for your call. And I think yourself is a pretty good job there. We don't want everybody <laughs> doing it, or all the barbers will be out of business. <laughs> Listen, thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Dan. Have a great day, okay? And, and Kareem, I'll leave you with this. When we go into the barber, when they say, "Oh, who right. did? Who did this?" You say, "I did it for myself." <laughs> <laughs> Lovely talking to you. <laughs> Ta -da -da. Top man. That's Kareem, and I think he's done a very good job on his head. I have to say, I thought that looked amazing. Uh, what did you all think of Kareem's number one? You don't need a makeup artist, Scotty. A little powder on the nose. I know the dog and I share very shiny noses. That's what we've got. Here we go, here. Hello! Dinky do, Scotty McClay! Dinky do, Mr. Stallione. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, a little bit better than it was the other day, so can't right. say any more than that. How's, the, how's the chest doing? 
Well, it's not so bad at the moment, but I am on the old antibiotics, so that's probably why. You're on the antibiotics, excellent. Now, am I right in mm. thinking, though, that you've not got the coronavirus, you've got other complications? Uh, that's correct. Is, is the coronavirus, do viri respond to antibiotics, or are they the ones that don't? Good question, Scott. And, um, you know, I like to think they do. Um, I don't think GPs prescribe them when you go in because if they kept giving you antibiotics for a virus, then God forbid you had a bad infection and you get, you know, immune to it or, you know. Yes, we'd get, we'd get more viri that we couldn't, uh, couldn't control. Exactly, and then we'll be using antibiotics for the virus instead of the infection. So I'm at that stage now, Scotty, where with my lung disease, I'm resistant to many antibiotics. So God forbid, you know, would that happen to the average well, average person yeah, on the flu? Here we're, here we're getting oh. answers. El Salvador, it says, uh, if Spain and Italy are anything to go by, no. So there you are. So they don't respond. Uh, I knew, I knew there was one that doesn't respond particularly well. No, no, Scotty, they do, they do respond to them, but at the end of the day, we're humans and we have an immune system. Yes. So if we keep going to the doctor, if we kept going to the doctor and the doctor was throwing you yes. antibiotics for every sniffle you had, yes. then you would become resistant to them very quick, you would need them more, and God forbid you had an infection that could kill you, it's not. It's not logical. No, it won't to. No, so it's not. Term. It's not what we want for the coronavirus. Uh, for the coronavirus, maybe Scotty, because this is what I was going to touch on. I'm very clued up with chest conditions because I've got one myself. Of course you are. Um, I want to talk about the lung condition. You're, you're very clued up with the the thoracic cavity. Yeah. See what I just did there. You did, Scotty. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, you know the lung condition, cystic fibrosis, Scotty? Yes, I know, I know it well. I had a friend who had it who sadly eventually passed away. She was a lovely, lovely girl. But she, she made it to a fair age, uh, you know, uh, for somebody with cystic fibrosis. Yeah, with cystic fibrosis and my condition, uh, we're slightly different. We can live a little bit longer. We can get to 70s, 80s. The cystic fibrosis are looking to get to the 40s, you know. Yes, that's right. She was in her 40s, as far as I understand. Yeah, they, they have different complications, though, um, Scotty. They have problems with the soul and the digestive system and things like that as well, not just the lungs. Yes, yes. there's, there's a, a wonderful documentary called Love on the Transplant List. And uh, mm. it's about a girl waiting for a new set of lungs. Yeah, and that's what they can, that's what they kind to me towards the end, Scotty, um, transplant. I've got bronchiectasis, and there's bronchiectasis cystic fibrosis and bronchiectasis non-cystic fibrosis, and look, I have non-cystic fibrosis. Right. And have you had that all your life then, El Salvador? I believe so, mate. I was a very poorly baby. Uh, intensive care, fed oxygen, intravenous for fed, and all this collapsed lung. Yeah. So I was a poorly kid, mate. Growing well, up. Well, you uh, might have been time. a poorly kid, but you're a wonderful guy. Well, I'm here for a reason, Scotty. I'm here for a reason. I never put weights on. I got to the age of 21, 22. I'm only a short dude, but I was, I was about eight, nine stone. It's only when I started, started lifting weights I put the weight on, you know, when wow. I got a bit older. What a man you are, absolutely, yes. But anyway, Scott, he's talking about cystic fibrosis, and I'll tell you what I think about coronavirus. Go on. Right. We've, I've, I've met a cystic fibrosis who's dealt, um, doctor who's dealt with me anyway, and he told me there's a positive and a negative, right? So the patients are either positive or negative. Now, these two people can't sit in the same room if they grow a book called Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas. Right. Right. So if you're negative, you have to be in the waiting room with negative people. If you're positive, you have to be in there with the positive. So a negative can't be with positive because then they contract the pseudomonas. Now, this is what I'm thinking maybe coronavirus is like. I'm thinking there's people that are carrying it and then people that are susceptible to catching it because it's airborne. Um, but there's an antibiotic touched on it the other day, Scotty, that they treat, was it tuberculosis with? Uh, you're streptomycin. Uh, Streptomycin, and that's a family, you know, that's a family of the mycin family. Yes. Very good anti 
diabetic medical antibiotics. So I think the science is here now where they can look at respiratory illnesses such as with cell cystic fibrosis and get microbi microbiology in and say, look how these pathogens work. It can work like the coronavirus and then start giving medication trials out. I'm hearing in France, they've tried um, azithromycin and it's supposed to be working 100%. Right, very, very interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so what, yeah. we'll, what we'll do is you realize that no other television or radio company or anybody is giving out information of this quality. Absolutely not, Scotty. And you know it's back, you know it's back to Scotty, because I know we still thought you do I, I, baffle, stuff. Yeah, I baffle chess specialists sometimes, and, and then they listen to me, I listen to them. Another thing, Scotty, so. You know, salt treatment. Salt um, treatment. Yeah, that, that's used in the lungs. I, I nebulize um, a saline, which is a salt, salt solution. solution. Yes. Yeah, and it clears the throat and clears the chest, and you bring it up. I'm wondering if they're going to start nebulizing these corona, you know, when they're in the hospital. I, I, I reckon salt, they're doing it now. Salt is a wonderful thing. I mean, the Romans were paid in salt, salt money, hence the term mm -hmm. salary. You know, yeah, right. that that's where salary comes from. It's a, it's, a, it's a Roman term, and they were paid Ooh. salt money. So that's where you got your salary from. Um, right, and saline that. solution is used in Ooh. so many things. You know, doctors don't Ooh. like people having a bit of knowledge because, you know, they call it mumbo-jumbo. Uh, you know, they, mm -hmm. don't, they don't like to hear that. Uh, and they will put down things like alternative medicines or what have you. But you've got to be thinking about it. My father was an engineer, but he was great on chemicals. And um, mm -hmm. when he was ill, he had something called, um, uh, what was it? Dad had that one. Oh, to come back to me, John F. Kennedy had it, you know. Sometimes when you're when you're broadcasting live, you're searching for the term, and, uh, yeah. and I, can't, I can't quite remember it. But anyway, my father had that Addison's, Addison's, Addison's disease. So my father had Addison's, which was a glandular deficiency. So he could be 100% well, or he could be at death's door. And he was there for, he would pick up a proprietary medicine, and tell you what was in it and what effect that would be having on the enzymes in the liver. You know? Mm. One mm, yeah. Anyway, my dear man, I'm, I'm going to yeah. have to dash, but thank okay, you sorry. thank you for that. You know, because that is a quality chat. I'll see you later. We'll catch you soon. Top man now. Guys, there's a man with serious, serious illness all his life, and he's picked up a fair old bit about medicine. He's talking about the coronavirus. Possible cures. We love it. Thanks, Scott McLean, for the call. Enjoy the rest of your day, says the wonderful Kareem Zakaria. Antibiotics don't respond to viruses, says Kevin Stewart. Right, well, uh, Mr. Stalley only said they did, but um, I take the discussion. Antibiotics don't treat viruses, says Louise. So there are so McLean was right there. If that's the case, well, that's three of us. Um, Alistair King, dinky do big news by government. Husbands will get fined for giving the wife's credit cards to use. <laughs> Stop. Right, just a bit of nonsense, fake news there. Thomas Peden, Aaron Foy and John Marshall. Alistair King, dinky do Scotty, good morning. How are you? Gordon Robertson's watching. Welcome, Gordon. Great to gargle with salt water. Cleans the bacteria out of your throat. Absolutely. A saline solution. Excuse me a sec. Oh. Wipe down. Far too hot. Studio's roasting. We need David Icke to lead the country. Thomas Biden, I have interviewed David Icke. A very, 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 very interesting man. Um, some of the stuff is a little bit uh, far-fetched, I felt, but, um, you know, a lot of his stuff is very interesting. Very interesting man to talk to, very nice man to talk to as well. Dinky-doo, 
So there we are. Right, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's happening, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man. And I'm not blowing any trumpets, but you will not get anything of this caliber up the way on television and radio or anywhere else on the internet. So there you are. Fantastic calls on there. Um, Thomas Pedden, uh, yes, the reptilian bit. No, I can't go that far, Tom. That was the bit that lost me. Uh, was it out of this world, Scotty? This is Kevin Stewart. Very good, Kevin. Wonderful stuff out of this world. I love all that. Is that a mirage? Or am I seeing things? I wanted to talk to you about Armageddon, but I didn't have a chance. Well, it's not the end of the world. There we are. When I was interviewed for my job at NASA, they said, what do you think this job involves? I said, well, it's not rocket science. Oh, El Salvador, they do. It's called Virus Infection 1. The body fights on itself, but if you had antibiotics, you would recover quicker, so doctors won't throw antibiotics at you for nothing. <coughs> Corona is virus. So does antibiotics work? Right, so there you are. Very interesting. Damascus, the road to Damascus, an epiphany on the road to Damascus. So there we are. Was that Paul on the road to Damascus? St. Paul, wasn't it? Who was on the way to Damascus? Am I right? Do tell. Come on, let's have your contributions on here. It's all very well sitting watching and saying, oh, I don't have to do anything. McClue can do all the work. You know, I'm, uh, I'm here for your edification and delight, for your education, your information, and your entertainment. Send me a thumbs up if you're enjoying yourself. There we go. Better still, do a bit of sharing. Share, share, share. Who else can we share? So let's share to some of the big groups. Get everybody on here. That would be great fun. There we go. Share to the big groups, I say. The silks slipping down on the tie there. There we are. When do you think lockdown will end? I don't know. It's an interesting one. We have to find out if this virus can return, or we have to test and find out if you've got antibodies, is it highly unlikely you'll get it again? So there we go. That's what we need to look at. So it will end if we all stay in and observe the instructions and we all get by, God willing, then, um, you know, it could end sooner. Gordon Robertson had to stop for an epiphany at Hart Hill service station on the road to Edinburgh. <laughs> How is Prince Charles out of isolation after only a few days of having coronavirus, Scotty? Don't get me wrong, I'm glad he's well, but we're all in isolation if you get it. When they say he's out of isolation, that doesn't mean he's going out meeting everybody again. It just means he's maybe not on his tod, they've tested him and thought he's better or whatever, you know what I mean? That sort of stuff. Uh, but he'll still have to self-distance and see very few people. He can maybe go out to the shops to get half a dozen rolls and stuff like that, but he'll have to step behind the line, pay by card if he carries money. I know the Queen doesn't carry money, or uh, somebody with him, maybe a detective will have to, uh, you know, just swipe the card. Um, a thousand pound fine, I'm hearing. People can't even afford... A uh, litter, dropping one for 50 quid. Yes, absolutely. Scotland's my second home. I miss it so up, says Donna Louise Saunders. I miss it so much. Oh, Donna Louise, whereabouts are you now? And um, where are you from? Do spill. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. More sharing. We need to share. We need to share. Now, if you're trusted and you want to Skype in, Skype in. If Douglas Lawrence is watching, you want to Skype in Diggy and give us a tune, that would be outstanding. Ayrshire, 
I lived there from 20 to 11, 2011 to 2012. Yes, sir, very good. So there we are. Yes, very nice. North Ayrshire or South Ayrshire? And there's East Ayrshire, isn't there? I think there's three Ayrshires. I think there's North Ayrshire, South Ayrshire, and East Ayrshire. I'm in Sunny Bolton. Donna Louise Saunders, Scotty McClue, is currency in Bolton. Absolutely. I uh, broadcast to the Northwest to 5.4 million of you. How wonderful was that? Then we put the stations together and we get 9 million. I'm going to share in a big group, guys. See if we can uh, share. If you can all go sharing as well, that'd be great. Uh, I mean, Craig Tara says Donna Louise. Can we have a shout out for Mick Chinford? He met you in the Argyle Bar Coat Bridge. He's in isolation and is a huge fan. Of course we can, Tom. Yes, absolutely. Dinky do, Mick. We hope you're well. Uh, Donna Louise Saunders, the Haven Camp. Excellent. There we are. Wonderful. Superb. Great stuff. Now, here I go. Here we go. Uh, who am I sharing with here? I'll share with one of the big Facebook groups. That's fantastic. Oh, there's a, there's a Facebook Live. We'll share with them. Excellent stuff, and we'll just say that we're live now. I maybe don't need to say I'm live now because it probably everyone kind of gets that. Whoa, there we are. Danny McNeil's watching, Dinky Doo. Is there a bolt on City to Manchester? There is that a bolt on City to Manchester? Bolt on. Kevin Stewart, you're very clever. Your stuff's very good. Donnelly Saunders. Yes, Kevin! <laughs> We like that. Great to meet you, Scotty. This is Donna Louise Saunders. No, lovely to have you on board, Donna Louise. El Salvador, Scotty, you said Corona is living in warm places like Africa and India. What you've got to remember, new virus get more clever as time goes by. Maybe this virus is more clever than the last. So we now... Need to look at it differently. We need to learn the life cycle and what slows it down and then kill it. Absolutely. As I said yesterday, if there are too many of any living creature, you run the risk of an increase in disease. That's when we're talking about the likes of rearing battery, poultry and that sort of stuff. And everyone, absolutely, Donna Louise. New project started in the Wayne Shed yesterday, Scotty. We're building a workbench and setting up his workstation to learn about engines. Alistair King, that is the loveliest, loveliest gift you could ever give anyone. There we are. Teach your son to be an engineer like his dad. Fantastic. My father used to take me down to his workshop and show me how everything worked. He made parts for cars. I don't have his wonderful skills. Wonderful, great Scottish violinist and fiddler, bank, um, great bagpipe player as well. Uh, Derek Walker, I'm in Rochester in Kent. I'm free Kirkcaldy. You free the long tune, Ken. Ken Derek, eh? My girlfriend was cross-eyed. We split up. She was seeing someone else, says Thomas Biden. Oh, Thomas. Bit harsh. So there we are. And uh, yes, we had uh, we had a school teacher who had uh, two jealous pupils. They kept uh, they kept looking at each other all the time. So there we are. Do you remember you used to get when we were we? If you had what was called a lazy eye, they put elastoplast or a plaster, I should say, over one of your glasses. Uh, you used to see people with a, a, a big dod of plaster over the lens of one of their glasses. There you are. Donna, did you get Scottish links from the Bolton page? Excellent. Class joke, says El Salvador. I know, very, very good. Uh, viruses need to, a host to live in. Cut out the host transmission and it dies. More hosts available, the virus can grow and mutate into something else. Well, I think that's what they've realized. I mean, there's no doubt that we got Duff Gen 
Typical. We got Duff Jen to start with, a bit like the referendum. But they 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 soon stopped. They did a volt fast. They did uh, a big about turn and realised that this herding instinct that everybody should get it was just wrong. Um, so the latest one, of course, they said they were listening to the science. But the latest one, of course, is if we isolate, then it's eventually going short of hosts and it should die off sooner. We hope. That's the thinking. You still got the bonnet, Scotty, says Martin Gallon. Of course, Martin. It's only 28 years. I've got more than one. Uh, you can link me in again, says Donna Louise Saunders. Absolutely. Ian Kerr's watching. Guys, share this with every page you know, all your gaming friends, anybody at all, tell them, tell them, tell them, because as I say, what's the point in me popping up if everybody can't see, if they don't know it's on? So you've got to do your bit. Now, there's enough of you around to be sharing and sharing and sharing. So let's get these numbers up into the hundreds and uh, that will translate into thousands when we share it. Last week, we I say, uh, what did we have? 6,000 of you. Wonderful. And I'll put some watch parties out. No, it's okay. Thought you, you, thought you come over. Don't know what that one was. El Salvador. What's a name? Not a patch on Damascus, though. Uh, John Marshall. Uh, oh, yes. My son had to have an operation a few years ago to fix his eyes. Yes. Is it called? Astig, Astig something, astigmatosis, I can't remember, astigmosis, sorry about that, it's ringing a bell. Um, isolation is the key, says Donna Louise Saunders. Yes, isolation. Scotty, you caught me napping, says El Salvador. Not me brew yet. Well, you'll need to get your brew, El Salvador. Shared to the coronavirus group, says Alistair King. Thank you, Alistair. Very, very important. My lazy eye treatment wasn't a patch and conventional treatment, says Kevin's chat. <laughs> Did you hear the joke with the millionaire working man? Uh, uh, it was a poor joke. It was class. Uh, astigmatism. Connie Crawford. Thank you. Excellent. Astigmatism. There we are. I wasn't far off. You have to wreck the old brains when you're live streaming. You all try it. You know, there's uh, there's two billion of you out there and one of me. That's not fair. Uh, astigmatism. Excellent. That's exactly what it is. What's the time, guys? Oh, my goodness. It's time I wasn't here. So there you are. Pink eyes, says Thomas Beans. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> time I wasn't here. Um, I have to go. I have to go now. And uh, as we would say in Spain, hacienda me. So there you go. Right, um, join me tomorrow. We'll maybe do some late pop-ups, pop -ups, but please spend a lot of your day sending this round and telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live just for you. It's a very long-winded name, Scotty, for the eye problem. But long story short, it's the muscles in the eyes. Yes, we need to strengthen the muscles in the eyes. Thanks, Scotty, says Andy McMillan. Andy McMillan, you're very, very welcome. It's very kind of you all to uh, to come and join me. Bye. Bye, Kevin. Thank you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zeno revoir and a cheerio. So there you are. Yes, goodbye song for you. I saw you in Wishy when, in fact, uh, you had that bonnet on when you were dogging school. Donna Louise, thumbs up. Bye, everybody. You're beautiful people. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay fabulous. Watch all the Scotty McClues on the YouTube channel. Go and subscribe right now. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Follow me on TikTok, at Scotty McClue. Follow me on Facebook, and we'll catch up soon. Dinky-doo. Ta-da, lads!